Howdy folks, Brett here. Windows 11 has added a ton of features since it first launched. I'll be showing you the features that are often overlooked that can improve your overall experience using it. So let's jump right on in. The useful but humble notepad built into Windows for taking quick notes, editing simple code, or creating log files now has tab support to navigate between multiple files in a single window. This makes things more tidy than having multiple instances of Notepad open. Just like tabs in browsers, you can move them around. Here's a bonus tip for you, if you didn't know. Notepad now supports having a dark theme. To activate it, go to Settings here in the upper right, select App Theme, and then Dark. If you have your system theme set to dark, you can also choose Use System Setting. While we're on the subject of tabs, I still run into people who are not aware that File Explorer now has tab support. Clicking on the plus will open a new tab. They work the same as Notepad, so there is no longer the need to open multiple File Explorer windows. The Snap Layouts feature to organize opened windows into a grid gets overlooked quite a bit and is very useful in cleaning up the clutter on your desktop. To use it, hover your cursor over the Maximize button in the upper right corner of any window that you have open, and you'll see nine grid layouts, and it'll offer suggestions for the three at the top. I'll go with the layout here in the upper right and just click into it. And that's it. They are now neatly organized. To extend the life of your battery when using a laptop, the Energy Saver mode that was introduced last year with Windows 11 version 24H2 is very useful. To enable it, open Settings. You could use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I, or right-click the Start menu in the taskbar and select Settings. I'm demonstrating this on a desktop PC. The steps for this are the same for a laptop. Select System in the left pane. Then here on the right, click on Power. Go to Energy Saver. Then toggle the switch on for Always Use Energy Saver. Doing this will limit some of the background processes, increasing the life of your battery. The phone link feature built into Windows lets you access your phone messages and notifications right on your PC. And it's also useful for sharing files between your PC and phone. I don't have it set up on this PC. I don't like distractions while working, but on my laptop, it works great. Setting it up is really easy. When you do a search on your PC for phone link and select it, this window will open. Select your device type, Android or iPhone, after which a QR code will appear for you to scan with your phone. Widgets are great to get a ton of information in one place without having to open a browser and do a search. When you hover your cursor in the lower left side of the taskbar, they'll automatically load up. And another way to load them up is with the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus W. I didn't really try them early on. Now I use them all the time. It's great for taking a glance of the weather, uh, sports updates, uh, stock prices, news, etc. To add additional widgets, click the plus here at the top, find the one you want to add, and then click on pin. Quick Assist is a useful feature built into Windows I have not tried until recently. It lets you help out a loved one, family, or friend with a computer issue, or you can get help from a trusted family member or friend. To open it, go to Search in the taskbar and type Quick Assist. Select it. How it works is if you're the one helping out someone else with a problem with their PC, you would click on Help Someone. I can't take you past the screen, but you'll need to log in and get a six-digit code that you send to the recipient of the help. On their end, they'll need to open Quick Assist, and they will need to enter that six-digit code you sent them. And then you'll have access to their PC. If you want more precision in the clock readout, when you look at the time in the taskbar system tray, thankfully they've added a setting that now lets you show seconds on the display. To do this, open the settings app. In the left pane, select time and language. Go to date and time. Make sure that show time and date in the system tray is turned on. Click into it. Tick the box next to show seconds in system tray clock. You should now see the seconds ticking away in the system tray. Doing this will use more power. How much? I don't know. 
As many of you know, a zip file is a compressed archive containing one or more files, making them easier to download, share, and store. While Windows has had an extract feature for quite a while, I always felt programs like 7-Zip and WinWar were better to unzip or extract those files. That is no longer the case. For those that don't know, to extract a folder in Windows, right-click on it and select Extract All. You can choose whether or not to show those extracted files when it's complete. I usually leave this checked, then click on Extract. When it's done, this will put those files into a new folder, uncompressed. Voice dictation is a feature in Windows I've been using quite a bit more lately that has improved quite a bit the last couple of years. With any text box open in any program or in your browser, pressing the Windows key plus H key will get it started. I'll do a quick example here using the lyrics from a song by David Allen Coe. Well, I was drunk the day my mom got out of prison and went to pick her up in the rain. But before I could get to the station in my pickup truck, she got run over by a damned old train. Period. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What are your favorite features with Windows 11 that you think get overlooked? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and make sure to click the bell. Not miss out on our latest Windows 11 videos and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.